Hello everyone, I am Katana, the Lightning Cat. <clears throat> Just watching South Park, <laughs> thinking about things, I decided why not vlog about it. <clears throat> There's so much on my mind I don't know where to begin. Between Balto being sick, um, puking and then diarrheaing everywhere and me having to clean it up, uh, worrying about food stamps getting cut off because of the government shutdown, and being afraid that disability is going to go next, not being able to get a job. Not getting uh, enough exposure on my YouTube channel to get ad revenue, patron and PayPal supporters, so that I can, <clears throat> so that I can just basically live my life and do the stuff that I want to do, and post more videos that I want to post, and what what else was there? Ugh, it's, it's really stressful. So, aside from just, you know, making a video asking for everyone to help, I went off and, and tried to email Markiplier because he does a bunch of charity stuff, so why not ask him to help me and then start a fundraiser to help other people in my similar situation. So I tried to email him and a message came back from the mail thingy saying that either he was getting too many emails at the time or his inbox was full either way. So I left it as a comment in his video that he uploaded yesterday and I tweeted it to him. This is on top of me uh, asking him, Jack, and Pewds to help uh, a few days ago on Facebook, on, on their official pages. <clears throat> I just don't feel like I have any options. I feel like I'm pressed into a corner. And it's it's been so stressful for me to think about and try and do stuff about today. And I've completely neglected doing any uploads. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, yeah, the other thing. The trying to get in touch with a lawyer to do a, a pro bono or you know that's the legal jargon for public's best interest case to help me with this problem with the landlady because I need that money to go and buy food now that food stamps is getting cut off and I'm worried that disability is gonna go next so right now even me making this video recording this vlog is me grasping at straws, desperately reaching to try and keep my head above the water in this situation. I think that's an appropriate metaphor because it feels like someone tied a freaking lead weight to me and threw me in the freaking ocean. Drowning in one's own emotional state is not very comfortable. Yeah, on top of the horrible living conditions. And yeah, I'm well aware that there's more people out there who are in the same situation I'm in. So that's why I wrote that paragraph 
and posted it in Markiplier's video that, that he uploaded yesterday asking specifically to help me and then start a fundraiser a charity fundraiser to help other people in my exact same situation because I'm not the only one going through this problem there's people who are in far worse condition who actually can't even like get up out of a chair or anything I've seen some of these people like like years ago when I delivered Meals on Wheels how many years ago was that? that was back when I was still working I was at the local KFC before it got shut down that was before Obama came into office what was it? 15 years ago maybe? somewhere around between 12 and 15 years ago I was delivering Meals on Wheels I saw people who legitimately couldn't get out of their own house. One was just incredibly morbidly obese and a complete bitch. But that was just one. The other five or six were just decent people who like were missing a leg or something like that and they couldn't do things. Like severely crippled this one dude couldn't even walk so for people like that not just myself but for people who are in that situation who are actually depending on disability and food stamps to survive because they physically are completely incapable of working a job that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing this but yeah I need help too I'm just mentally blown the fuck away. Mentally and emotionally being drained from the stress. And a couple of days ago, one dude suggested I get a job trying to teach English online to people from uh, other countries. That application was declined. I already made a video covering that. I don't, I don't even have a vehicle to drive to a place so that I can go there and work a job. I am quite fucked up in this situation I'm in. It is quite fucked indeed. <clears throat> So I'm so deep in this situation that it's very difficult for me to step back from it mentally and emotionally and view it objectively. But it's, it is a good thing that I've been able to keep my mentality straight enough, even though it's this huge freaking spiral right now, that I can see that there's more than just me in this situation that there's thousands of people so everybody there's the information I'm so mentally out of it I've been up all night and all day stressed out I, I can't even think of what to ask you to do right now. Thanks for listening. Oh, and by the way, how was your day today? Don't be put off by me telling you how my day was. Hopefully your day was better.
Till next time. Bye. Ooh. <coughs>